नमस्कार द डिग्निटीज एंड रायस योर एक्सलेंसी फ्रॉम साउथ कोरिया दी ऑफिशियल्स ऑफ दिस वंडरफुल सोसायटी आणि या सभागृहात उपस्थित सर्व मान्यवर माझ्यापेक्षा ज्येष्ठ बहुतेक कुणी नाही या पण माझ्या श्रेष्ठपेक्षा श्रेष्ठ सगळे इथे बसलेले आहे ज्येष्ठ का नाही या कारण की माझ्यापेक्षा जास्त अगोदर जन्मलेला व्यक्ती नाही आहे इथे आय वॉज बॉर्न इन नाईन्टीन फॉर्टी टू इंडिया वॉज नॉट इंडिपेंडेंट दे वॉज नो राष्ट्र की विच वी सेंग दे वॉज नथिंग नोन एज जनगणमन माय मदर यूज टू टेल मी वेन आर द्लास वन जेवण कर लवकर झोप नाही तर गोरा येईल खाना खालो जल्दी सो जाओ नाही तो गोरा आ जायगा सो तो गोरा वॉज टेलिस फॉर अस आर मेंटेलिबिटी वॉज क्रिएटेड आर ट्यून टू एक्सेप्ट सुप्रियरिटी ऑफ गोरास आय एम बॉर्न फ्रॉम दॅट सोसायटी अँड टुडे वी आर लकी टू बी प्रेझेंट इन दिस वंडरफुल ऑर्गनायझेशन अ वंडरफुल ऑडियन्स अँड माय कॉन्ग्रॅच्युलेशन्स टू यू कॉम्प्लिमेंट्स टू यू फॉर कमिंग टू अटेंड दिस सेमिनार and i must compliment you ma'am and the society for thinking of this subject i think in the academic world in india barring one more exception this is the first time first time sir any institution is organizing a seminar on psychology and particularly military psychology so my congratulations to you this is the subject this is the subject having told you that i was not born when india was independent राष्ट्र परतंत्र होत परतंत्रता मैंने देखी है अनुभव की है एंड इवन आफ्टर जॉइनिंग द आर्मी आई गॉट कॉट इन वन पर्टिक्युलर सिचुएशन वेन आई वॉज वर्चुअली लाइक ए प्रिजनर ऑफ अनदर कंट्री मैनेज टू स्केप इट इज नॉट रिकॉर्डेड इन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडियाज रिकॉर्ड फॉर्चुनेटली आई वॉज नॉट इन पाकिस्तान समवेर एल्स अदरवाइज there was no tv that time and nobody would known what is happening to me there today we know what is happening there so even that gulami patantrata i have felt for almost about 70 hours why this subject is of importance and very truly honorable vice chancellor of the university of pune dr kamalkar he has mentioned <coughs> military psychology will play an important role in this century 21st century it is going to play psychology has always played the role throughout the history of human kind it will always play the role till the human kind is surviving and psychology is not only confined to the human being it is also among the animals the birds anybody who moves are alive including the plants there is a psychology so we got to understand we got to accept and military psychology not necessarily you must join the military only then the psychology will be of impact to you the survival in a dignified manner in this world itself is a challenge we are fighting a war every day for our survival for our dignified survival to build up our children to make money to make more money than what we need and to spend the money which should not be spent by us somebody else money through credit card that is the philosophy so this will continue to be useful not only when you join the armed forces of course that is there the art of survival is also art of living and art of living is the survival of art of existence and that is connected to the struggle of the human kind if you don't exist you will not survive there is no question of survival thereafter so once again my compliments to you you know on this world today every six human being is prathvi par rehne wala har chhatwa vyakti bhartiya hai i hope you know it every six person on this earth today is a human being of india's origin there is no country in the world no country in the world where you will not find a indian and tomorrow by chance if you are going on a motorcycle at the speed of 120 and suddenly you land up in moon you will find some bade paav wala doshi bade paav some bade paav wala be there it is quite likely and today's particular day the 5th of january 
2018 is very important for us. And no wonder this conference is being organized. In 1671, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj had captured the fort of Saler today at 9.30 in the morning. Bhagwa flag was flying there because he attacked that place early morning at 5.30. And by the time he got the message, it was 9 o'clock in the morning. Thank God there was no watch that time, but they knew how to take the time. He captured this. In 1889, the word hamburger, which you eat now, pizza, hamburger, whatever, this was coined in Germany. It came out of Hamburg. It is connected to military psychology, military warfare. I'll speak, then I speak on my turn, then I'll be discuss. In 2014, 15, 5th of January, 5th of January, the cryogenic engine was made by India. It launched the satellite <coughs> at the cheapest rate in the world within 18 minutes, and today is 2018. Within 18 minutes, the satellite went up, and it is working today, and all your communication system is based on the satellite. They show the mind of Indian generation. Not one scientist from abroad was involved in that. Not one. In 1592, Shah Jahan was born. And what he did, I don't have to tell you. You will know it better than me. Because you must be going to Taj Mahal. Whether you see Taj or not, but Mahal you must have seen. You must have got your photograph. All the foreign dignitaries, if they come to India, they must go to Taj Mahal, get themselves photographed at least with one wife. <laughs> in 1955, Madam Mamta Banerjee was born today. And Maya, Mamta, Mohini, you know, they are ruling the world today. <laughs> and on this very day, 1986, Deepika Padukone was born. <laughs> and no wonder she created a Bajira Amastani, Padmavati, Padmini, and all this, and she's ruling the world. So you are the Deepika of the future. My congratulations to you, my compliments to you, the students who are there. It is only Deepika who could do the Deepak? <laughs> India's reliance on this. And this is connected to Indian heritage, Indian industry. We start our program in the morning with deep prajwalan. And Madam was crying. She said, I mean, 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 I I will not have a chance to look at the fight of the Vilota. Deep Prajuran is connected to military psychology. Her Sameki path was the Stat paths or seven or ten. Five elements of power in the world on which all the wars are waged. Prathvi is Kuper and Baitheu. I think I repeated this in one of the seminars here in this very hall some time back. Shakti ka ek roop prathvi. Today all the wars throughout the world is happening. Who will capture whose land? For minerals, for resources, for water, whatever you want. Prathvi ka ek roop jiske upar baithe hain. Akash jiske niche hain baithe hain. The sky under which we are serving. It is all based on the space technology. Your mobile, your WhatsApp, your tutor. Karte ka chandala, chalte ka khandala. Aayegi rath ko. It's all happening in this technology. Space is the second element, Akash. The third element is gel, water. Without which we can't survive. We can't carry out an agricultural activity. In India today, 19 states are fighting cases in Supreme Court of India on sharing of water, and that all the water is going to sea. But we will not allow our own brothers to use that water. Today, 68 countries in the world are fighting war, are all located along the sea coast. All 68 nations, they are surviving. They don't know tomorrow morning there will be nation or not. That shows the importance of water and the sea. India is the only nation in the world, and we should be proud of the fact. There's only one ocean in the world, Indian Ocean, named after India, Hind Mahasagar. Do you have any American Mahasagar? There's not even an American sea. The South China Sea. India is a proud possessor. It doesn't mean that it is our sea or land, but it is, the fact is there. 
The fourth element is Vayu, without which you can't even survive for more than one minute, two minutes, unless you are a very keen disciple of Baba Ramdev. I can see some of them in this hall. They are doing a deep meditation since morning I've been watching. <laughs> so they will go back as wise as they came in the morning. You can't survive without air, without wild. And the fifth element is Agni, energy. It can be coal energy, it can be water energy, it can be petrol energy, it can be solar energy, any energy. And therefore, in the absence of energy, we invite the goddess Agni, and we say, be Prajwalan, then it makes one. And today, throughout the world, you see the history of the humankind, all wars have been fought because of these five elements. There is no sixth element. Is there anybody? <laughs> who know the sixth element in the world? There cannot be one. There cannot be. There has never been. There will not be. And that is why the entire warfare, entire psychology, entire philosophy will remain confined to Pancha Tattva, Pancha Mahabhut, Pancha Amrut, Pas Savashni, five elements of power, Pas Indriya. Everything is connected to the five. five. And five is a big number. Pas Shaktiya, Jo Vishwa hai. So you can my voting power, veto power, five superpower. There are five oceans, five saints. And if you have a sixth sense, then you are supposed to be a mad person. Loka Manta Tanchi Divya Drishtiya, Dur Drishtiya, he's got a super sense. If you have a super sense, and you don't have a common sense, then you are no use to anybody else. So therefore, in the art of warfare, the uncommon common sense will remain the most important thing, but it is the absence of common sense which creates a warlike situation. That is the basic philosophy of warfare. People don't go to war just for heck of it. They go to war because of the lack of understanding between the two people, two parties, two nations. And that leads to warfare. And that is why we do Agni Prajwalan. 21st century is a century of knowledge power. The more knowledgeable you are, the more powerful you will be. And all the five elements of knowledge are in this part, 11 inch. Nowhere else in the body. Is there anybody that you buddhi paya madhe hai? hai ka? Anybody? Any Ramgandhi here? There cannot be. All the five senses are confined here. Your eyes, your ear, your nose, your touch, your lip. Sahavi Indriyaika. So entire human being, entire world is working on this five sense. So jisne in indriyon ko vash mein kar liya, wahi indra hoga. And therefore, one of the indra, Narendra Swami Vivekan had said, I can see India rising. He said that hundreds of years back in Chicago. And India is rising today. India's time of rise has come. We are a rising power. Just last week, Bhakta Artiva Sagudar, America Chai Rashtrapati Matlai, India is a world power. Then he matlai rai. Bodhi ji ne matlai asta, to mene hala kai akkal niya. America Chai Rashtrapati, tim dena manta te, India is a world power, emerging world power. We are the fifth largest economy in the world. Pachi bhaan shakti hai. And yene rai kaaya madhe, dar padla, so we will become a Mahashakti. But that may not be acceptable to many of the people in this part. And therefore, I can see India rising. It's a Divya Sapna He saw it long time back. His name was Narendra. One Narendra saw the, the Sapna, the another Narendra is trying to accomplish the Sapna. In and therefore, it is the century of knowledge power. Sapna te nastat, japan zhupta na pahato. Sapna te astat, japan la zhupu deet ne, zhupan te apan te sapna saakar kareet ne. And you are the people, the young people of this wonderful institution. Te sapna tumhi saakar karna re. You are our hope, you are our future, you are our confidence, you are our asha. Saka kai tumhi hai. If you do well, India will do well. If you don't do well, India can never do well. And therefore, my compliments once again to you, ma'am, and to the society to build up these people like us. Remain like this all the time. Today is the century, as I mentioned, about the Indias. Dharmendra, Raghavendra, Jnanendra, all Indias 
Devendra and Narendra. <laughs> There's nothing to I don't belong to any tattwa. So, you are not one lagla, I am not tattwa di ne asane ya. That is not the point, but the fact remains. And that is why there is a saying, an idea whose time has come. India is an idea in the world. India is not a geographical limit. It is not a question that Hindu Mahasagar cha uti bhoti, Himalaya cha dakshine madhe, Mahasagar cha utre madhe do bhaag hai, to Hindu asane ya be. India is a civilization. And the civilization whose time has come. And India has time has come. And therefore, once again, I request you to concentrate on this. India is the one country which is going to lead the world. First time in the history of India, there are 10 heads of the states, ASEAN power, they'll be watching the Republic Day Parade on Rajpath. <coughs> Six years back, they all came to Delhi, and Rashtrapati Bhavan Madhe, Jiva Bhosh Yoto, then they ate Mantra, all people. And they pratek Rashtrapati Hote, Pantapradhan Hote, Naresh Hote, those people. They don't copy anybody's, they say, you are not going to be able to tell me, I will tell you. That's not the examination. They said, we have tremendous hope. We got great hope from India. India can lead us. India can show us the path. India can secure us. India can guide us, and India can protect us. Akra Rashtrancha Rashtrapati Pantapradhanani hai Dillila Matre le. And I'm 200% sure we don't write their speech, but they will be repeating almost the same when they come to Delhi on 26th January. That is the power of India. <coughs> and we should be proud of the fact. Last two points, koi bhi rashtra, koi bhi raja, अपने राष्ट्र की राष्ट्र नीति की सफलता के लिए राष्ट्र नीति बनाता है। We form a national philosophy, a national thinking process. 